Do you ever wonder if homeschool is a good choice for you? Comment below with your questions, concerns, or ask about a setting up a time to discuss how to start your homeschool journey. I was just going to say really quickly, um, I'm, we're kind of seeing, I think, and I think hopefully we will see more in the future, more of the community involved in homeschooling. Um, I have a friend and she goes out to different groups and organizations and she talks about homeschooling, how to get started, this kind of thing. And she was telling me she went to this meeting and it was all these like older people, like grandparents. And she's like, I'm used to talk, you know, to like parents with younger kids, you know, who are considering homeschooling. And she said that it was this group of older people and they're, you know, kind of retired sort of age. And she said they're all so concerned about the state of public education that they want to know more about what is this homeschooling thing and how they can get involved. And, you know, these are folks who are retired architects, blacksmiths, you know, all kinds of, you know, these real world skills. And I'm hoping that we'll see more of that, more of the community getting involved. Um, because like you said, what, with homeschooling, like for me, it was, I, you know, I just kind of want to bring, I want to develop the family unit. Yes, that's number one, but also the community. You know, I don't want to isolate my kids from the community. So I'm excited to see more real, like we're talking about simulation, real life learning, seeing that coming into homeschooling through the community and through people who aren't necessarily parents, because a lot of the co-ops, it's a lot of, you know, typically it's the moms. Some We do have some, you know, some dads and stuff, but we're the ones kind of, you know, taking turns doing the teaching and that kind of thing. But it's really exciting to see other people in the community coming out and taking an interest in, you know, investing in, you know, these future generations and all the skills and all the experience, you know, that they're bringing and, you know, pouring that into, into the kids. Um, that's really exciting to see. And that homeschooling is kind of more accepted. It's a little more socially acceptable. <laughs> it's not just like the fringe, you know, the weird um, people. So, yeah, so I'm hope I'm hopeful to see more you know, of the community involvement in homeschooling and more of, you know, like the real world skills and the simulation and things like that, that you're talking about. I think it's so necessary and the content mastery, you know, that you're talking about, um, you know, you have to get through this level before you get to the next one, but also, you know, there's the pacing and, you know, again, in the real world, there is that bit of competition, you know, with those around you, you know, so seeing that, you know, homeschooling is not taking away from, some of you know the things that are going to be found in the real world so that's cool to see well, that, that's true I, I, you know i think one thing that i seem to have not heard in the last many years i mean it might be as many as 30 or 40 years i, I always used to hear more of education and other things based on giving a better world for the children to, you know for the children tomorrow you know like we as adults are responsible for that and education in many areas, most areas, I mean, I'll include mine, I, I think I could probably project that onto many areas. There were many people that, I wouldn't say sacrificed, but applied a lot of their life. They didn't see it as a sacrifice. They saw it as an investment. They invested a lot, a lot of part of their right. life into the school system we used to have, you know, around here. Uh, my, my very high school was, uh, the entire land was donated by somebody, I think it was a farmer, but you know, they, they were community people. It was a very close community. And, and what, come on, everybody chip in and some, someone says, yeah. okay, how about, you know, I don't know, probably 30 acres, maybe 20, I don't know how many, 20 acres it was. And this is a long time ago and, and whatnot. But, but nowadays there's these agendas and social reengineering things that are going on. It's a different world, but it was good. What you just mentioned is really comes as music to my ears is that, you know, people are in, involved. And that's what I think what we're seeing is a uh, higher level of involvement. We're, we're pulling back those values. We're pulling those values back out of the community that are there, but people are realizing they have to do something about it. They just can't sit around and complain that things aren't the way they used to be. Um, you know, we're getting down to really what are life's virtues, you know, and people are disagreeing about that right now. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, so there's that whole other level of what we just talked about has to do with those in power you know, with a capital P for political and lower P for political, you know, that either keeping things the way that they are because they benefit from them. And so often I really haven't heard of the discussion, honest discussion that says, what are we going to do for our children tomorrow? You know, so much of what we saw in the last couple of years, even here has to do with what can I take out of society 
you know, maximum, how, how, what maximum can I take out of society so fast has been more of the, at least mainstream media reporting out there about what's been going on. Yeah. But I think in, in reality, I think many people, you know, they know the education system is the future, you know, it's going to be that shapes what, what a community is going to look like. Yeah. Yeah. So it's cool to see. Yeah. Other, other folks, you know, getting involved in that, but. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'd love to have you. We can talk just about school choice, like even just about the funding and all the, the shell game <laughs> going on there. Right. But I feel like I've taken enough of your time today. So thank you so much, Peter, uh, for coming back. And well, I appreciate uh, for it very much. It was great to do this. Thanks. All right. Do you ever wonder if homeschool is a good choice for you? Comment below with your questions, concerns, or ask about a setting up a time to discuss how to start your homeschool journey.